Hey, what's up everyone? Slack is an amazing communication tool for business. And if you connect it to WooCommerce, you get a fantastic way of receiving notifications when someone places an order on your WordPress site. If that sounds like something you need, stick around because I'm going to take you through how to set that up. There are a couple of things you will need to connect Slack and WooCommerce. Firstly, you'll need a Slack account. You can set one up for free. The link for that is in the description below. The next thing you'll need is the Uncanny Automator plugin. Uncanny Automator is an automation plugin for WordPress that allows you to create a sequence of triggers and actions between various apps or platforms. Don't worry, it's not as complex as it sounds, and we'll be going through this step by step. We'll be installing the pro version of Uncanny Automator for this video as the Slack integration is one of the many amazing pro features you get. But feel free to try out the light version of the plugin, which is available from the WordPress plugins directory. Let's get started. Once you've logged into the WordPress dashboard, the first thing you'll need to do is install Uncanny Automator. To do that, just head over here to plugins on the left hand side, hover over that and click on add new. Now we're on the add plugins page. We're going to come up here to the search bar and type in Uncanny. As you can see, this is the plugin we want here, Uncanny Automator, so click the Install Now button. And once that plugin is installed, the Install Now button turns to an Activate button. You just click on that to activate it. That's brought us to the Plugins page, and as you can see, the plugin's activated. This little notification here. And if we come over here on the left, we can see Automator here in the menu, so we just click on that. And that brings us to the Uncanny Automator dashboard. Now, the version of Uncanny Automator we need to connect to Slack is the pro version of the plugin. So to get the pro version of the plugin, we need to head over to the Uncanny Automator website. But as you can see in the dashboard here, if you connect your site, Uncanny Automator will give a thousand free credits to use third party integrations like Slack, Google Sheets, Facebook, and more. So it's well worth doing that if you wanna test out the plugin and all its integrations. But what we're gonna do now is head over to the Uncanny Automator website. The link for that is in the description below. So now we're on the Uncanny Automator website. And the next thing to do is to set up an account and purchase a plan. To do that, click the Get Automator Now green button here. And that brings us to the pricing page. And as you can see, there are three plans here to choose from. Choose the one that's most suitable for you. Click any of these buttons down here to choose a plan and set up an account. Once you've set up an account, log in. Now we've logged into the Uncanny Automator account page. The next thing we need to do is head over to Downloads. As you can see, we're now on the Downloads page. And the next thing we need to do is download Uncanny Automator Pro to our computer. So click the link there. Once you've clicked the link and downloaded that to your computer, head over to the licenses tab right here, click on that. And as you can see, we're now on our licenses page and we have our licenses right here. All we need to do is highlight and copy the pro license. And now we can head back over to our WordPress dashboard. So now we're back in our WordPress dashboard. We now need to install and activate the Uncanny Automator Pro plugin and then add the license key to that. To do that, head over to plugins over here, hover over that and click on add new. Once you're on the Add Plugins page, head on up to the Upload Plugin button on the top left here, click on that. And now that gives us an option to choose the file from our computer that we've just downloaded, so we'll do that. And once we've done that, just click the Install Now button. Once that's installed, click the blue Activate Plugin button right here. Once we've done that, we're brought to the Plugins page here, and we can see right at the top, there's a notification to let us know that we need to activate our copy of Uncanny Automator Pro by adding our license key. So to do that, we're just gonna click the little Activate link here. And that's brought us to the license settings in Uncanny Automator Pro. So all we need to do is click on the bar here and enter our license key that we copied from our account. Once you've added the license key in, click the activate license button right down here. Now that we've activated Uncanny Automator Pro and added our license key, we can now set up our Slack integration. And to do that, from this page, we can head up to the premium integrations tab up here in settings, click on that. And as you can see under the premium integrations, we can see all the integrations that we can have with Uncanny Automator Pro and Slack is here in the list. Click on that. Once you click on that, that's gonna give us a little bit of information about the integration between Slack and Uncanny Automator. But to connect to Slack, all we need to do is head to the button at the bottom here and click on that. Once you've done that, you'll see this page asking permission for Uncanny Automator to access our Slack workspace. So I'm gonna click the green allow button here. Once you allow permission, you'll now be brought back to this page and you'll see that we've got a little success message right here to let us know that we've connected successfully to our workspace. We can, if we want to, update the bot name and bot icon that is shown in Slack. So if you wanna change the name from Uncanny Automator to something else, you can do that and you can also 
update the little icon that you'll see in Slack too. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. And I'm now gonna hop over to Slack and finish off setting this up over there. So here we are in Slack and this is my demo workspace for this video. And one way to check if Uncanny Automator is connected to your Slack account is if you head over to the left here under apps, you'll be able to see all the apps that are connected to your workspace. And we have Uncanny Automator right here. So everything's connected for that. So now we need to add Uncanny Automator to the channel that we want to receive the WooCommerce notifications in. To do that, click on Uncanny Automator here and then head up here to where it says Uncanny Automator and there's a little drop down here. If you click on that, it'll open this pop up here and the first option right at the top is add this app to a channel. So just click on that. And then if we head over to the drop down here and just click on that, we can now see all the channels that we can connect Uncanny Automator to. And the one that I've created specifically for this video is the demo site notifications one right here. I'm just gonna click on that. Once I've selected the channel I want, I'm just gonna click the green add button here and that should be all set up. One way to check is if you go to the channel that you've just connected Uncanny Automator to, click on that. You'll be able to see right here, that it lets us know that Uncanny Automator has been added to this channel. Now we'll look at setting up an automation or workflow. We're going to create a recipe where WooCommerce will send a notification to a Slack channel when someone places an order on our online store. So now we're back in the WordPress dashboard and to set up the workflow or automation between WooCommerce and Slack, we need to create an automation recipe. And to do that, we're gonna head over to Automator here on the left, hover over that and then click on Add New. And that brings us to the recipe editor. And the first thing we have to do is select the type of recipe that we wanna create. Now there's two options here. We can create a recipe for logged in users. And that means that this automation will only be triggered by people that are logged in to the website. Or we can create a recipe for everybody and that's logged in users and everyone else that's just using the site generally. For this automation, I wanna create a notification when a customer purchases a product. I'm gonna select the recipe type for everyone. Once you've selected your recipe type, just click the confirm button down here. So the next thing you wanna do after you've selected the recipe type is give your recipe a title. After you've given the recipe a title, you then wanna select your trigger. And your trigger is an action that someone takes on your site that then sets this automation in motion. Our trigger for this example is gonna be a trigger to do with WooCommerce. So if we head over here, we can see the WooCommerce option. So we're just gonna click on that. And then that presents us with a list of the triggers that we can use. The trigger I want actually is the one at the top here. And that basically says once a guest completes, pays for, or lands on a thank you page for an order with a product, this automation will be triggered. So I'm gonna click on that. We now get the option to change our trigger condition. So there are multiple options for that. We can choose pays for, completes, or lands on a thank you page. I'm gonna choose pays for option, and then I'm gonna click on the save button here. We now get the option to choose a product if we want to. We can choose any of the specific products on our site. So if we just wanna build this recipe for a specific product, we can do that. I'm gonna use it for any product that's purchased on the website. So I'm just gonna click on any product. And then after I've selected that, I'm just gonna click on save. So once we've set up the trigger, the next thing to do is to choose the action. And we can do that by clicking the add action button here. As you can see, there are a lot of different integrations that we could use here. The one that we are gonna use for this example is Slack. So we're just gonna click on that option here. And just like in the triggers, we get multiple options for what we can set as the action to take place after the trigger. So we've got create a channel, send a direct message to a Slack user or send a message to a channel. Well, we wanna send a message to the channel. So we're gonna select that one. And now once we've chosen that, we get the option to select the channel and write the message that we want to display in that channel when this notification is sent. So we'll do that. So I'm gonna select the channel that we want. We're gonna choose our demo site notifications channel, which we set up in Slack. So we can write a little message here. And what I'm gonna write here is a notification for a product that's been ordered. I'm gonna put in the person's name, email address, and the product they've ordered. To do that, I'm just gonna head over here to this little asterisk. Click on that and now we can pull in some of the metadata for that. We're just gonna come down to the WooCommerce section here, click on that and now we can search for the information that we need. And what I want is I want to use the person's first name, then use the person's email address to select that. And then we're gonna select the product. 
title. So in Slack, we'll get a notification, which will tell us what the customer's first name is, their email address, and the product they've ordered. Once you've got the message how you want it, then you can click the little save button down here, and that will save that. And once you've done that, you can see you can add another action down here. So you can have multiple actions in this recipe for when a customer purchases a product. I'm not gonna do that. All I'm gonna do is head over here to the toggle where it says draft over here. And I'm just gonna to toggle that to live. This recipe is now live on the site and we should start seeing automations and notifications in Slack when customers pay for products. Now to make sure that's all working, we can test this. So all I've done is I've placed an order on the site and we can see if we hover over WooCommerce here and click on orders, here is the order that I've placed. And if we hop over to Slack, we should be able to see that in the channel that we selected. Here we are in the Slack workspace. And if I head over to demo site notifications, there we can see a notification from Uncanny Automator about the purchase that's been made on the website. I really hope you like this video and you now have a way to receive a notification when a customer places an order on your site. Uncanny Automator is a great plugin and I encourage you to check out what other workflows you can create. If you like this video, let us know by hitting that like button. And if you're looking to watch something similar, I really recommend you check out this video next. Thanks for watching.